Hello everyone and welcome to this demo on JFrog's evidence collection. In the next few minutes I'll show you how to create a fully auditable release pipeline by attaching test results, security scans and basically any other checks directly to your software artifacts. So let's dive in. Okay, so let's start with the why and let's understand why evidence collection is so important. So if you ever try to pass a compliance audit, you've probably hunted through multiple tools for test logs, security reports, and different approvals. It's time consuming and it's also error prone. So with JFrog, all this evidence is consolidated into one place following the software from build to production. And this means you have total traceability and a huge win for DevOps security and compliance. So before we dive into our demo, let's understand the basic terms that we will need in order to gain confidence with our software. So let's start with release bundle. Imagine delivering your software securely, efficiently, and with complete confidence that nothing will go wrong. That's where JFrog's release bundles comes in. A release bundle is essentially a package of all your software binaries and metadata grouped logically for easy distribution. Now, think of it as a delivery box containing all the pieces of your software need, carefully labeled and sealed. But here's the magic. Each release bundle is cryptographically signed. And why? Because we want to ensure no one can tamper with it during distribution. And this digital signature acts like a security stamp, giving your teams and end users confidence that what they're receiving is authentic and hasn't been changed. So with release bundles, you get an immutable, traceable, and secure way to ship software across environment, aligning with modern DevSecOps practices and keeping your software supply chain protected. Now for the second terms, let's talk about evidence, which also known in the industry as attestation and is the proof you need in order to verify the integrity and the authenticity of your software. It's a record of everything your artifact went through, security scans, compliance checks, and even build information. So with JFrog, evidence goes beyond just a record. It's a real time immutable snapshots of your software's journey through the development pipeline. Every artifact is backed by verifiable data, ensuring trust and transparency at every stage. And this isn't just about ticking boxes, it's about delivering confidence. And when you have a robust evidence, you can prove to your teams, customers, and regulators that your software is secure and compliant. In this demo, I'll show a simplified CI workflow using GitHub Actions. We will build the application, run unit test, then run integration test that generate a result file. We will attach that file as a cryptographically signed evidence to our release bundle in JFrog. Finally, we will run a mock security scan and attach those results as well. Then promote our release, demonstrating how the required evidence gates can control promotion. So here's an example of how easy it is to create evidence using JFrog CLI in your CI job. First, we run the JFEVD create. This command will basically tell the CLI that we want to attach a new evidence. So in this example, we are attaching evidence to a package, but you can also use it for generic files, builds, or release bundles. Feel free to check my examples files or explore our documentation for more options. Now, as you can see, I specify the package name, version, and the repository where the package will be deployed. I also include my signing key, which in the demo is stored securely in GitHub Actions, and the key alias for the public key stored in JFrog platform, used for validation. Next, I add the predicate, and this is the file or metadata I want to include as evidence. I also define the predicate type, and in this example, it's a simple signature, and the predicate itself, it's a sign.json, which you can see looks like this. All right, so now we are in the JFrog platform under the release lifecycle section. And as you can see here, we are standing on the green pizza bundle and we have some different versions from, 90, from 29 to uh, 30, 31 and so on and so on. Each version has its maturity level. 
and if we will click on one version for example we can tell the whole story how it got there and this is because we told the story during the creation of this version so we can also have this evidence graph that tell us the whole story so it has uh, some docker image called green pizza which signed by us and then it has a build that wrapped this green pizza that also have a signature. And because we are using the JFrog platform, we also have this uh, ASBOM attached to this bundle. So click on it, can tell us the story about all the uh, components inside this Docker image and the release bundle. And also we get a VEX, Cyclone DX, which in case there are some vulnerabilities, will tell us whether they are applicable or not, on, or if there is a fix for these vulnerabilities or not. In our case, there is no vulnerabilities, so uh, there is nothing to show. If you will have vulnerabilities, it will give you all the relevant information. Um, but let's keep things simple, and let's jump to my uh, workflow file. And I will not go over each uh, line with my workflow file, but I will share it so you can go and check yourself. In a high level, this workflow creating a Docker container, Docker new Docker version, then it wrap it with a release bundle uh, and build, of course, and get it into a QA stage in my JFOG platform. So let's give it a run. Okay, cool. So now that the run ended, it gave us with all the results and what happened during this build, thanks to the JFrog CLI that summarize all the process. So we see that we have some, uh, we promoted uh, our bundle to the dev environment, then to the QA environment. And we created the release bundle called Green Pizza with a link that take us directly to this location. And we get uh, other information. For example, we see that we didn't scan our build. Maybe we should scan it, maybe not. We did scan our Docker image and no security issues found. Cool. So let's go back to our JFrog platform and let's go specifically back to our green pizza bundle. And we see this new version that was created, version 36. And if I go back, I'll see that, yeah, we created version 36 and it's still in the QA. And if you can see, uh, let's check the differences. So I have a uh, 29, which has four evidence attached to the release bundle. I don't see the testing evidence, so it's kind of weird. And let's go and see what's going on with the version that we just built. And we see that it has seven evidence and it includes the testing results, which is important for us. So this is a mock data, of course, but but again, you can attach any file you want and uh, we will share the link to the GitHub repo so you can see what we did and you can do the same. Okay, so I have another workflow that I built uh, that should promote to production. So first of all, let's try promote version 29. So green pizza bundle is our bundle name and we want to promote version 29 and it's gonna fail because we apply an OPA which stands for open policy agent so we created a policy that checks that it has all the evidence slugs attached to the release bundle and it ca in case it doesn't have it so it will fail so we will try to promote it we should uh, fail this time let's see Okay, yeah, and we see that we fail. And if we go back to the green pizza bundle, we can see that uh, version 29 is actually still in QA. And now with version 36, we do see that we have all the relevant evidence. So let's try promote version 36. So it was version 36, green, green. Is a bundle, yeah, typos, of course, and let's run the workflow. This time we should pass, and because we have all the relevant evidence, it will pass the OPA policy and we'll move on to production.
here we go. We see that the, the workflow passed, the job run passed, and we can go back to the JFrog platform. And now let's see our version 36, and we can see it's no more under QA, but it moved to the prod. We can go inside and under the evidence graph or in the timeline, we can see all the evidence of what happened during this build and promotion of this bundle. And we can see this promotion that was done to the prod environment and it was done by me actually. And we also get, of course, all the raw data and the relevant details. So you've just seen how JFrog Evidence Collection centralizes all compliance and security data in one place, removing the hassle of searching multiple tools. This means shorter audits, reliable governance, and happier development teams. If you'd like to learn more or try it yourself, check out our documentation and start automating your evidence collection today. Visit the link below and explore how JFrogs helps dev, security, and compliance teams collaborate with full confidence in every release. Thank you for watching. This is Jonathan. Peace out.